Okay, I'll just throw it. That's all I'm feeling. <laughs> Bloopers 101, trying to drink water while I'm the frame machine. See where I was following it? Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Weavy Bills. Today, you already know it's on the car, is on the frame machine. We're getting ready to do some pulling. Like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Don't forget, check us out on Instagram. We'll see all the sneak peeks. <laughs> check out our merch. We got merch, so we keep going. So now, now let's hop into the video. Now it's pulling the spot well out. Oh, yeah, because it's separated on this side too. In this film of what he's shooting right now, what he's doing, if you can see in this upper corner right here, whoop, you can see that we're actually gonna be pulling it out. You're gonna be able to see the upper frame rail move and all of this portion is right here. We'll completely move over. This is already separated and broken, but we're just rolling the upper rail over so when we go to section it, it'll all be in its closest form to do less work and less repositioning with the new feed. Thank you. 
now you can see that it just needs to come over slightly a little bit more. So we're gonna do some more pulling and then let it sit for a while so it could just go back into its original form. And then after that, we'll know where exactly where we need to cut from so we could take the rest of the parts off the parts car. Let's keep going. I'm trying to take this upper bend, this side of it. If you can come closer or you can see it. Come on that side, my Sean. This is it's still bent. So this right here, right next to the motor and the mount is actually fine. The front portion of this upper frame rail is what still needs to be bent over this way. Still got to probably pull it with another 25 to 50,000 pounds of pressure. But one more, one more, maybe two pulls, and this whole upper frame rail will actually be back to almost its original, sh original shape. All right. Uh, its original position. Original shape? No, because we're gonna cut it and and redo it. But it'll be back to its original shape or original. Right. You heard the man, let's keep working. So we still got one more pull to try to make. What he's trying to do now is see if he could pull that little side, come over some more.
what's going on right now. We just pulled this plate off. It's where the extension um, basically bolts onto like how this is. So we just pulled this piece off. We're gonna hop onto the wrist. You already see that this frame rail is done. So we gotta do this one. So we'll do it tomorrow because I got some parts to go pick up. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Drop your comments and thoughts down below. Hey, and if you need some frame job done, check out King's Custom in Jacksonville, North Carolina. acetylene torch but I don't need a, I don't need a lot of power for this. This right here is actually a propane torch. Okay. Same concept, different everything. So what are we doing right now with us heating the frame so we could pull the wrap for this episode on we rebuilds thank you for watching like share subscribe drop your comments and thoughts down below hey check us out on instagram we got a we got plenty of sneak peeks check us out on all social media links even on twitter so we're we're growing each platform that we have a lot of great stuff in this video we learned a lot and i asked a lot of questions too so y'all could see how the process of going to start pulling the frame and while pulling the frame the last part of it, I had to leave because I'm technically in Florida right now. So hey, once I get done with Florida, I should be back and should um, finish up the rest of the car. 
so far King's Customs is just gonna finish what they need to do so once they finish with the now that the pulling is done the next thing that they're gonna start on is removing that engine so once they remove that engine then they're gonna do all the framework and cut where they need to cut and to put the new frame in so at least we're not using the old stuff so we're gonna take some of the parts off the front end of the other car so I have another video on the parts car that video should be uploading soon I just got a slight little um, difficulties right now because my GoPro is not letting me access those videos so I'm trying to work on that getting some technical help to get that done but thank you all for watching if you if you like this video please consider subscribing hey don't forget share 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 to everybody and again cop yourself some merch okay we have plenty of merch this is only limited edition so once it's done we're just, it's done we're gonna move on to something else and we got some new merch dropping soon so we're, we have things going um coming out soon hey don't forget check out king's customs okay he, he's real hey and don't forget check out dowdy's toning also hey he's always there for me he's always helping me out making a if, if it's even a tow the car from one, one place to another and he also does hauling and even plumbing jobs so whatever you need their link is going to be down in this description below and their contact info hey so go check them out if you're in the north carolina jacksonville area so anyways i'll catch you all in the next video so stay positive stay motivated i'm out